Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Welcome. This is my mom, if you don't know. This is Sue. She is Team Climb, but today we have to be Team Strength before we can get on to the climbing of our 100 minute ride. So we are so excited you are here. We have a super fun workout planned. This workout is not going to be as intense as some of our other workouts because we have that 100 minute ride after this. Um, some things to keep in mind, go a little bit lighter today if you need to take rest because the work timer is gonna be on for 60 seconds, make sure to do that. Rest timer is on for 20 seconds. But again, these exercises are not as intense as they would be. This is still gonna be a full body workout. We don't have as many leg exercises though. Again, because uh, yeah, we're gonna be on the bike for 100 minutes. Now with the 100 minute ride coming up, if you are gonna join us, we do have that set up into sections as well. So we'll have three different rounds. The first round's gonna be just moderate. We're gonna turn it up a little bit to medium and then at the end, it's going to be hot. So it's like those Taco Bell sauce packets for rounds. So you can think of it like that. We're gonna have the first round is a 30 minutes, 40 minutes for moderate and then the hot and spicy, 30 minutes to finish it out. So we're gonna get right into our warm up, and then we'll get into this workout. The only thing you'll need will be your dumbbells. We'll be on the ground as well. And the structure for today's workout, if you were here for our Christmas strength workout, from our stocking, we drew what exercise was next. And that was a super fun way to do it. So we have Jason that is going to be drawing our exercises for us. There he is. Wow, not awkward at all. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get into our warm up because I do not want to miss out on a second of our time together today. So we've got 30 minutes. We're going to get warmed up. We're going to start marching high knees first. So we're going to do four high knee marches and then we're going to do butt kicks for four. Here's four, three, two, and one back high knees. Here's four, three, two, and one butt kicks four, three, two, and one high knees out for four and butt kicks. Almost there. One more of each here. Here's four, three, two, and one. Butt kicks four. Then we're going to take it into squats. Two and one. So legs out for squats. We're going to go down, hold it, and up. Take your time here. Hold it and up. And squeeze. Five more. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yes, we can start your watch. Mom, I don't think you use a watch, do you? Yeah. Almost there. Here's two. Arm circles back in one. Here we go. Nice big arm circles back. Stella wasn't sure what was happening today with our extra guest. Five more. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to take one arm and take it across. It's kind of fun having two people here, although I really have to watch my space because the last thing I want to do is like accidentally hit <laughs> Three more, here's three, here's two, and last one, switch it up, other side. This does feel like normal because we, I always grew up working out with my mom when she'd be in her jazzercise, step aerobics, classes, whatever it may be. Three more, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it out to a wider stance here and we're gonna do side to side lunges. So just taking it down and back. And then as you go through this, you can try to take it a little bit deeper and we'll just hold it for a second down low. Almost through the warm up. we're gonna do, we're gonna hug one leg in, in two, and one, so bringing our feet together, pulling one knee up, hugging it in, squeeze here, and switch. Last warm up, and then we're gonna get into our first exercise, so maybe we need to ask Jason what he's gonna pull out of his hat for us, or what do you have it in, Jason? How are you pulling these? I am uh, just gonna do this, and I'm gonna pick one out. Oh. Are, are you ready? Is that, yeah, is go that ahead, what we're doing now? It. Last one here, and we'll see what we've got. We have ham curls. Hammer curls, all right. I love starting with bicep curls. All right, so grab your dumbbells for hammer curls. Again, timer's gonna be on for 60 seconds, then 20 seconds of rest. So, mom, go for what, what do you want? 15? 
I'm gonna try to do 20s. You wanna trade? No, it's fine, let's just go. So this is a no repeat workout as well, because uh, yeah, no repeat. So let's begin in three, two, and one. Here we go, hammer curls. And exhale as you lift. Mom, let's hear the exhale. Let's, let's really see how you're exhaling. Exactly. <laughs> you probably couldn't hear that, but it sounded like a balloon deflating. So that's exactly what you're looking for. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that might be a little dry. <laughs> we try to keep it up. spicy around here. Interesting. I feel like this is gonna turn into a SNL skit. Yeah, probably. That's what we need my mom to do. Yes. The kick stretch and the kick because she's 50. If anyone was on Instagram when I shared that, I was like, this is the dream real right now for me. 10 seconds, almost there. Then we get 20 seconds to rest. <laughs> That's my noise today. Wow. Sorry. Two and one. Yes. All right. What do we got? What's next? You gotta move quick, Jason, because Oh my gosh, I'm stressing out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, you got, because we don't know what dumbbells we need. Yeah, no, we're gonna hold have... on. Here we go. One, Woo, two, three. Go. We have reverse grip row. All right, I'll stick with And you, you have five these? seconds. Um, you if you want, because yeah. I don't like doing back. You guys know that. Oh, well, good, you go heavy. All right, reverse grip row, palms face away. Hinge it over, back flat, core engaged, and let's row, here we go. Hold it at the top for just a second. Really squeeze shoulder blades around spine and then back down. Think about sticking your chest out as well so you're not rounding your back, driving those hips to the wall behind you. That's good, Mom. Good form. It's so fun having my mom here for our workout today. I usually just, we're over halfway. Almost there. I usually just hear about the workouts after my mom does that and how she's like, I can't lift my arms, I can't walk, I can't do I'm like, oh, well, good. Then you're doing it right. No, I'm just kidding. 10 seconds, come on, squeeze. Whoa, she's exhaling. We've still got the exhale, good. Here's three. Jason, what do we got? Two, one. Oh, you did it with 20s, that's All good. All right, next is, we'll go right. Here, what? I got two. I like that we're doing all the pulls right now. Uh, you can stay there because you have a bent over row. I didn't do that on Let's purpose. Let's trade. That was the only thing is we um we didn't, um, she was like, should I bring my weights? I was like, no, it's fine. All right, so bent over row, palms together, and we're gonna row. So back flat, core engaged, same form. Stick that chest out and let's go. Squeeze. What? This is rigged. I know, this does feel a little rigged. I don't know what Jason's doing. That's why it's taking him so long to come in from the bubble. He's like, hmm, No, false. We... I'm gonna mix them up on the table. Okay. Well, then we really can't see. We don't I'm know mixing. If, it's, if the paper's wide open, if you're like, ooh, what's next? Do you want me to start vetting my decision before it goes on the camera? <laughs> no, To prevent just go this on. in the future. <laughs> oh my goodness. Squeeze. Well, I will say it's nice we're getting all these pulls in because next week for Bike and Bells, the first workout we have is a, for strength anyways, is push and abs. Then we're gonna have legs and abs. We've got two brand new rides next week, which I cannot wait. I have, you have no idea how much I love the second ride we have coming up that week. Oh, it's an around the world ride. Okay, five seconds. Come on, get it out in three, two, one. Oh. What do we got? You better say something lower body or abs. Pike push up. Oh God. I just grabbed one out of the pile. All right, well no dumbbells, pike push up. This might be new to you. If pike push up seems, if it's a little bit, cause this is one you can't necessarily do on your knees. Pike push up, we're gonna be in that V. I didn't think about space with this one. So we're gonna be in that V, bring that chest forward. So um, up on your toes and then you're gonna drive that head down towards the ground. So that's the exercise we're doing. You can always do on your knees and do tricep push-ups if you'd like to modify because you will notice that the pike push-up works the shoulders as well as the triceps. So 60 seconds, 
let's begin. Drive those hips up towards the sky. Head down towards the ground. Elbows going back behind you. Keep those heels up. Good. Jason, just so I don't break form, can you holler out the time we have left? I will for sure holler. Thank you. I think this exercise is gonna cause some thumbs down on this video. Some thumbs down. This is a tough one. We haven't done it in a while. It looks tough. You don't have to look. I'll give you a 15 and then a 10 you. and well, then a three. I'm waiting over here for the time. You're just. You're under 15. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, There's good. 10. I know. And last one in three, two, one. Nice. So what you do can we really have? feel the shoulders in that one. That's a tough one. All right. Mixing, mi oh, you Hi, stood everyone. up. Hi everyone, here's our legs. Thank Hello. you. Hello, you stood up. And we have. Here we go. Over the head tricep extension. You extensions. are doing something, Jason. I am not. They are being mixed on the table. <laughs> All right, so overhead one or two dumbbells looks just like this. And then you can join me, join us here. Down, 60 seconds, let's go. Yeah, the duration is long here. But it's no repeat. So, you got that going anyways. <laughs> what the heck, I know. <laughs> Freeville Farm is just uh, saying what we're all thinking right now. 30 seconds. This is so arm intense right now. You're kidding me. Whew. Good job recognizing when you need to go down when your form is starting to get a little questionable. Good, down, press. Come on, we've got 10 seconds here. Good, exhale as you press up in three, two. Nice, what do we got, Jason? You're rushing me and I, well, hey, I'm just Well, hey, you said we need to be on go. it today. One, two, three, and. Sumo Romanian Whoa. deadlift. Thank goodness, I know you love this one. That's I've why. never seen do you use one or two so many dumbbells? people happy to see two? a sumo Okay, RDL. you get yours. I'm gonna use kettlebell, I think. Oh, I'm gonna use kettlebell. Oh yeah, grab a kettlebell. Do you want this one, 45? Okay. All right, so sumo Romanian deadlift. That means our legs are out wide at an angle. We're gonna keep the dumbbell or the kettlebell nice and close, and we're gonna lower down, driving those hips back, pulling up. So, 60 seconds, thank goodness it's legs. Let's go. Good, and pull. Squeeze the glutes at the top, push your hips forward just a bit, and squeeze. Halfway. I know this is getting, oh. It's getting tough. We got it though. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the next one. Yeah, go one. ahead and tell us what we got and next. At least we a have week. lat lift. Oh, good. Okay. I'll show you what that looks like here in five seconds. Good. This is three, two, and one. All right. So, which do you use for that, Mom? Let yeah. Okay, five or ten. Do 10, I'll just, I'll, I'm gonna show everyone what it looks like here. Just like this, lifting and lowering, just a slight bend in the arms. And let's begin, here we go. Slight bend in the knees. Keep those palms down towards the ground. This is working your lateral 
or the medial deltoid, which is the rounded part of your shoulder. Good, and squeeze halfway. Twenty seconds to go. Here we go. Mom, arms flat. What's to the next? Floor. Flat, flat to the floor. Yeah, like right. So, lead with your elbow. Let your elbow come up. No, no, no. just like this. Are you ready? I'm not trying to correct for there. Sumo squat. Sumo squat next, and one. Awesome. All right, sumo squat. Kettlebell or dumbbell, mom? Um, All righty. So you pick your, I'm gonna use two dumbbells today because I used um, I used one this, we have sumo squats next week. So I'm gonna mix it up. So one uh, kettlebell or dumbbell in the middle or here on your hips and let's sumo. Here we go. So legs out wide down and squeeze. <laughs> Jason's teasing me because apparently my word for, sometimes I feel like during like in the workouts, there's always one word that I really cling to. And uh, in the, uh, which this, one was this it, week, Jason? This week, it's let's rock it. So yeah, so sorry, I'm rocking and rolling this week. I think it was during the push and Kaylee's, oh. Kaylee's pure WWE form right now and let's rock it. <laughs> do, do they say that in WWE? I don't know, but I feel like they should. They do. All right, 20 seconds. Let's go and find the next. All right. What's next? Next is, Keep what does this say? Keep the chest up, just down with the bum and squeeze. Can you read that, Kaylee? It's a lot of words. Oh, alternating yeah, suitcase, suitcase squat, squat with Yeah, so this is an narrow. alternating suitcase squat with narrow press. I'll show you this one um, in three seconds. Two and one. Awesome, let me show you this next exercise. One dumbbell is all you're gonna need. It's gonna be a dumbbell that you can do a narrow press with. So. Suitcase squat simply means that we're gonna have one dumbbell on the outside as if we're picking up a suitcase. Down, rack it up, press. When it comes down, we're gonna switch it here in the middle to the other side. So we're gonna do that narrow grip push press right in between. So 60 seconds, here we go, let's begin. So we're down, rack it up, push press up, good. As we come down, switch it over and press. Good. Right in the middle. Oh, nice. When you get the push press in, when you have that little extra momentum with the lower body, you can go a little bit heavier with the shoulders. Whoops, forgot to mix it up. There's 20 seconds. Let's 20 seconds. Here see we go. See what our next exercise is. It is plank shoulder taps. Nice. Okay. Oh, not nice. According to my mom. Almost there. Here's four, three, two, one. Nice job. Plank shoulder taps. We'll bring it to the ground. Let me show you what the business is. We'll probably face this way. So down in that plank, you have the option to do this on your knees. Mom, do you want to do it on your knees to show yes. that option? All right, so my mom will show the modification, but you have two options, on your knees, on your toes, and let's begin. So we tap it out. Taking your time. As you tap, make sure you're not rotating those hips open. So you don't want to tap and rotate. So keep this, the hips square. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, all in line. Almost halfway. When I looked up at the clock, I definitely was like, yeah, we're gonna have like 20 seconds left. Nope, we got a whole 40 seconds left. Playing shoulder tap minutes go by way slower than most other minutes. And there's the 20 second timer, so we're gonna Ooh, figure nice. out what we have left. We have bicep curls with- Oh, okay, good. With pulses. 15 seconds. Is this with five pulses, Jason? I think I wrote five. That's correct. Great, okay. I'll show you what we've got going on in five seconds. 
in three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna add some pulses to these bicep curls. Let me just show you. I'm just gonna grab these for now, I might go up. All right, bicep curls, halfway for five, four, three, two, one, all the way up, all the way down, back to half. Pulse it out for five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down, all the way up. So let's begin, here we go. Pulse it, five, four, three, two, one. All the way up, all the way down. Bring it up halfway. Pulse it for five, three, two, and one. All the way up, all the way down, halfway. Pulse it, five, four, three, two, one. All the way up. Elbows tucked in. Pulse it up half. Good, three, two, one. Halfway, five, three, two, one, all the way up, 20 seconds. 20 seconds to go, let's find out what's next. Pulse here on your own, so Jason can What talk. does it say, alternating leg low? What does that mean? Oh, okay, yeah, alternating leg lower. So now we're gonna hit the abs. Hit flexors a little bit in there as well. Five seconds here. And three, here's two, and one. So we're gonna bring it onto the ground. I'm trying to figure out. I, okay, well I knew my mom was gonna be here, but I was like, so maybe you go that way and I'll go. So alternating leg lower, legs are gonna be up. We're gonna lower here. What? Sorry, my watch just talked to me. Mom, if you wanna do the modification with knees bent, bringing your heels down. All right, here. We go. So mom, you'll just bend your knees to tabletop here to 90 degrees and then drop the knee. So that's the modification my mom's got going on. Leg straight, if not low back press into the mat. Even with the bent knees, make sure that low back is pressed into the mat. Once your low back starts rounding and arching up, it's gonna put a lot more emphasis on the hip flexors and take a lot of it out of, and even be a little bit rough on the low back. So. Keeping that low back pressed into the mat is gonna activate the abs. <sighs> 20 seconds. Where are we at, Jason? What oh, we got we're next? there. We are there. Hold on, let we me mix, mix, there. mix, mix, mix. And we have, who? stay on the ground because we have fire hydrant left. Left, all right. Wait, I would do them both. Fire hydrant left and then fire hydrant right for the all next All right, two. so make sure you find right then. And put, well, I guess if you pull it, then it won't be a big deal. All right, last one, here we go. So that's a good idea. We do have fire hydrant, it's left and right. So it'll look just like this. If you have your booty band nearby and you wanna grab that and add it, you definitely can do that. Yeah, and then we're just gonna keep that leg bent and lift in five seconds. Here's three, two, and let's lift. So we'll do one side now and then we'll do the other side. Good, and squeeze. Make sure you're controlling as you lift that leg, control it up, hold it for just a sec, then back down. So don't just be like, wee! Just like, like nice and slow. I got carried away there. Who is that? Who is, who is Rod? I know that name. Roddy, Price is Right. Price is Right? Well, that must have been before Bob Barker. No, the announcer, the in-between. Oh! Oh, that guy. I love that. That's so funny. I don't, I didn't realize I knew that name. And last one, whew, good. Press it back, we're gonna switch it up. So next we're just gonna do the next side. So we did have it in the draw, but just in case, we'll make sure we get it out now. Whew. All right, so 10 seconds, we'll switch it up. You're on that, oh, you're gonna be lifting that side, okay. And one. Someone did the wrong side, was it me? Might have been me. Oh, okay, yeah, so we were doing left first, so that's okay. It's fine, it's no big deal, I mean, obviously. As long as it's even on both sides, that's all that really matters.
Again, control it up, control it down. <clears throat> no flailing in the fire hydrant. Well, you can flail <clears throat> after this one, maybe. It's like the wacky waving inflatable arm tube, man. Not that during our strength sessions. All right, next. Although if anyone's interested in an interpret an interpretive dance class, I might be able to, you know, do some things with that. We can next just... is alternating chest press pulse times Ooh, three. Yes, I'm excited about this one. Almost there, here's four, three, two, and one. You can press it back if you need to. Two dumbbells for this one. Let me grab dumbbells. You probably want 20s, mom? Yep. Okay. Hey, if you have a partner to work out with, you should bring them along, because I'll tell you what, they'll challenge you to go a little bit heavier. Let me be nice and give you the lighter dumbbell. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, this is, I'm gonna face this way, I think. I think that'll be okay. Let me show you this exercise really quick before we get going. So it's alternating. So we're gonna go pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way down, all the way up, and then switch. So pulse it for five, all the way down, all the way up, and then switch. So let's go in three, two, and one. Here we go, pulse it. Here's three, two, one. Back to the bottom, all the way up. Take it back to starting position, other side. Pulse it, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down, all the way up. Switch sides, here we go, pulse it, five. Keep those wrists straight, four, two, one, all the way down, press it up. Whew. The shake has begun, five, four, two, one. Now you can work at your own pace, but because we're pulsing and because we've got a little bit of coordination going on with this one, I'm trying to call it out, but if you're counting on your own, go for that. While you're doing that, Let's we have go. 20 seconds left, and that means the next exercise is a pullover. Pullover, okay, good. Yeah, I love that one too. Let's finish it out here. If you're in the middle of a pulse, make it even. Good, all right, so pullover, let me show you what we've got. Actually, mom, I wanna use one of your dumbbells. You only use one, right? Yep. Okay. One or two dumbbells, I just, um, I like to use one for this, but you can do whatever you need. So, arms are gonna start straight up towards the ceiling, perpendicular to the floor. Lower it nice and slow back, and then pull back up. Stopping it right again, perpendicular to the floor. 60 seconds, let's begin. And squeeze and pull. I definitely should have done 30 seconds for our rest in between with the way we've got things going on today. But instead of 20 seconds, we're resting for 30 seconds in between just because that's how it's been going this whole time. And squeeze. Nice and slow. You can tap that dumbbell back if you can reach it there. And up. Over halfway. Now, as you pull, I really want you to think about contracting and squeezing your abs. So really think about squeezing those abs and pull up. Because this is not only working the triceps, this is not only working the chest and the lats. The core is engaging in this one as well as you pull that weight back up. The last exercise. Last exercise. Last what? exercise is going to be a crunch. Oh, nice. I love ending with that. Yeah, it's probably been 30 minutes, huh? Almost. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, th this structure is fun. I think it goes by really fast. I think we um, have got the crunch covered. Hands behind, we lift and lower. Is this an awkward angle I forgot for the timer. So you have about oh. 10 seconds left, I think, or 15 maybe. All right then. All right, so we'll finish out with the crunch. And then if you were gonna meet us over at the cycling channel, we will start at 10 a.m. for that, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So. We'll, we'll start in 30 minutes from wherever you are. And let's crunch. Here we go. I know so that, that was the only thing is like, we have the camera angles, but we didn't quite figure out yet where we were gonna set up. And squeeze. Get those shoulder blades up off of the mat. Hold it for a second. Hands just run, resting gently behind your head, not crunching your neck. 
And for these last 35 seconds, what I want you to think about, minimize that space between your ribs and hips and hold it there for a second and then back down. So squeeze. Good. And exhale there at the top. Almost there. 15 seconds. Ooh, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yes, that is awesome. You rock, you did it. Thank you for joining us for our strength workout. Again, if you're gonna come hang out with us for our cycling, we will be there in 30 minutes. On the cycling channel, we've got 100 minutes. This is my mom again. She's showing you how well these workouts work. No, just, we love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we will see you over at the cycling channel. If not, don't forget to get a stretch and I love ya.